It's important to note that the plugs, the F connectors for the different types of cable have to be the correct size for the cable. For example, here's a piece of WF100 cable. If I take an RG6 plug and try to put it on there, it's almost impossible to fit. It's really, really tight. In contrast, the correct plug for WF100, although it's only slightly wider diameter inside, screws on quite easily. Now to fit an F plug to the cable, we have to remove the insulation at the end Then, if I can find my cutters, which are falling apart, we have to pull back the braid and then just snip that copper and peel it off like that. Only make another cut here to remove the inner foam dielectric plastic. Take that off like that. Then we take the plug. Ah, I'm forgetting an important thing. Silicone grease, it makes it much easier to put the plug on if you apply some grease like this, first of all. That should now screw on quite easily without a great deal of force. And we screw it on until that white dielectric plastic inside is just coming level with the hole. And then finally, we just tease out this copper braid, which is nice and sticky with grease now. Snip it off like that. And then the wire which is protruding from the end of the plug Ideally we want about two to three millimetres. The trick is to cut it at an angle of 45 degrees like this. Here we go. And that leaves a fairly sharp point which makes it much easier to put into the female socket when you screw it on like that. And that's it, that's all there is to it. Fitting an F plug is easy, provided that you have the correct size plug. A lot of dealers will sell you a plug which they say is one size fits all. It's not actually true because if I try to put this one on for the RG6 it would crush that cable down and it would affect its performance. You could even lose channels because of it. So choose the correct plug for the cable. And this cable by the way, WF100, we stock in various colours including yellow, red, white, brown, black and green and this makes it really easy to determine which cable you've got hold of if they're all coming down to a common point